Mad? It's Sam. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck-off surgeon. He used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt, be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. I'm gonna act all doped up. I hope he goes for the bait. Gotta find some way to get him to talk about the Marble Street apartment. Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get Betropin. Without a prescription? Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. So, you're looking for Betropin, my dear. Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. No, thanks. Well, alcohol helps take the edge off the pills, don't you think? Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal. I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? I can't remember. My brain's fried with all these pills. Can't tell Dave from night half the time. Can you get other types of medicine? Everything has a price, my dear. What about you? Do you have a price? Forget it. I'm not for sale. I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around Marble Street. You're not drinking? I am, um, um, I'm, I'm not really thirsty. I'll get your prescription. Won't be a moment. Wait here. That guy gives me the creeps. I better take a look around to see if I can find anything before he gets back.
Shaka! What you doing in there? Nam and Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? Yeah. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, or whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from you. Sorry, man. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory for names. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. <laughs> you trying to scare me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. Not much help, this so-called Mad Jack. He's either clean as a whistle, or else he's got something to hide. Blood? Now why is there blood here? Same brand of tire as the car I'm looking for. Has the killer's car been here? The blood tracks lead to the acid bath. Size 10, most likely a visitor. Fingerprints, probably Mad Jack's. Not the car I'm looking for. Harry coming. Traces of orchid pollen in the air inside the garage.
Few traces of blue paint. Same tire tracks. No doubt about it. The killer's car was here. Size 13. Must be Matt Jack size. One of your cop buddies asking too many questions. I had to solder up his little mouth. Hands on your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. Enough fucking around. Now you're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. Uh, broke my fucking nose, pig. Next, I'm gonna blow a hole in your face. Spill all of it. You don't scare me, Mr. CSI. You ain't got it in you. I've no time to lose, Jack. I want to know who that car belongs to. Well, what you want don't mean shit to me. I ain't no snitch. You better just lock me up now, boy. Do you like fireworks, Jack? Because I bet them gas tanks are going to blow up real nice. Shit, man. Don't mess with the gasoline. Well, just say it was an accident. Or rather, I'll say it was an accident because you won't really be able to talk, will you, Jack? What crazy motherfucker? You out of your mind, man! No, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car, get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash, and I ain't the questioning kind. Said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon when the car was done. Now that's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything... Not now. Anything you say can and will be. Hey, <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. <laughs> what? They letting you dope heads in the FBI now? God bless America. I'm gonna give you a little help with your drug problem, Mr. Five-O. Permanently.
Hmm, <laughs> hmm, 